a seven investigates. We are learning more information about the suspected shooter in the Boise Mall shooting. Morgan went digging for public records about his history here in Boise. Here is what she found in tonight's seven investigates. In the aftermath. In the aftermath of the Boise Town Square Mall shooting last Monday, Boise police said the suspected shooter, Jacob Bergquist, was known to police and mall security. We learned Idaho State Police also interacted with him at the Capitol, where he claimed he was a convicted felon out of Illinois who was allowed to own guns in Idaho. Seven investigates filed a public records request with Boise police to find out about any previous interactions officers had with him. We got these documents back Tuesday. They're police reports outlining multiple times law enforcement saw or interacted with Bergquist when he was armed. On April 27th of this year, Boise police officer Christopher Zimmer says he was patrolling downtown when he saw Bergquist with a shaved head and shirt saying YouTube guns and rodents with a gun on his hip at the crosswalk. Zimmer said Bergquist looked at him, then jaywalked. He wrote in the police report, quote, the jaywalking violation in front of me made me suspicious. He was trying to elicit contact in order to have a confrontation with me. Zimmer says he looked up the YouTube channel and found videos of Bergquist admitting he was a convicted felon shooting guns and advocating for felons to have firearms. Zimmer said Bergquist's videos show he was racist toward Hispanics. Zimmer said in his police report he warned other officers about Bergquist being racist and disliking law enforcement. In another report, days later, Officer Zach Powell says he saw Burquist carrying a gun downtown. Then when he was off duty May 2nd, he noticed Burquist standing outside the Jacksons on Bogus Basin and Hill Roads, again armed with a handgun. Powell also looked into his YouTube channel and found the same thing Zimmer did. Both officers were so concerned a felon was armed, they requested the Ada County Prosecutor's Office and ATF review the case to figure out whether Burquist was breaking any state or federal laws. As we reported last week, ISP asked the Ada County prosecutor to do the same in April, but prosecutors found Burquist could in fact carry guns in Idaho since his Illinois theft wasn't on the list of convictions that ban gun ownership under Idaho law.